Well, today I'm making shalgam, which is a winter root vegetable, possibly one of my most favorite vegetables in India, also known as turnip. Hey guys, welcome to Rajshri Food, which is your ultimate destination for 100% vegetarian recipes. Today I'm making shalgam ki sabzi. Let's begin. Well, shalgam ki sabzi is of course made in various different ways, but this is my personal take because shalgam, like I said, is a vegetable that some people pinch their noses, some people wait for the season. I am one of those who actually waits for this. First things first is to peel the shalgam. I am using a small paring knife of course because if you do it with a peeler, it kind of gets a little difficult and also if you see and very closely notice, this results in a lot of wastage because this gives you a very thick peel. Also it kind of changes the shape which you are not looking at. Back to the paring knife and absolutely thin peels. For the uninitiated, this is actually like a cross between a beetroot and a radish. Well, it looks like a beetroot, the shape is like a beetroot, but the color is like a radish. The taste flavor is very unique, yet very different. Another thing which is a tip for you, in case you don't want to actually wait for winters or you actually get a craving of eating a turnip, even after the winter is done, what you can do is plant it in your kitchen garden. What you need to do is take all these caps or all these tips and plant them as simply as taking a saucer or a tray, placing it like so, placing all these caps one after another and then just add in a spoonful of water so that this kind of just starts reactivating into a little bit of a shoot. You can keep a cap of beetroot, carrot, radish, rutabaga, suede, whatever. That's a personal choice. Keep it like so and wait for the shoot to come. Once the shoot comes, you need to transfer it in a kitchen garden. Simple. These I am cutting into wedges for a change. All you need to do is cut these into a half, then a quarter and that quarter into another half at an angle. So what you get is a cut which is actually tapering on the sides and it's got a nice round at the base. These technically are known as wedges. The next step of course is to begin cooking. All you need is a kadhai and a few tablespoonfuls of mustard oil. Well, I personally prefer mustard oil because that is also something that goes extremely well with winter vegetables, especially the roots. Give it a try. Another ingredient that actually goes very well with turnip is actually a ginger root. Well, turnip, if you've made before, you would know, it's a canvas. Canvas is something which is nice, plain and open and as much as you want to colour it or leave it plain, that's the recipe for you. So this is predominantly flavoured with ginger. Let's chop it nice and fine. Peel it well, scrape it well, wash it well and the next thing is to chop this nice and fine. Slice this thinly, collect all the slices and run this into juliennes. The next step is to collect all the juliennes and chop them nice and fine. Our ginger is also chopped and ready. Let's move on to the cooking process. The oil is heated well. To this, the first thing that goes in are some cumin seeds. Once the cumin begins to splutter, I'm going to add in red chilies. Just snip off the stalk, break it up and add it in. Once that kind of begins to splutter, I'm going to add in a green chilli. Again, stock goes off, breaks into half, goes in. And I'm going to add in a generous amount of chopped ginger. Stir this well. And before this starts getting caramelized or coloured, I'm going to add in the turnip. Once this kind of stir fries on high flame for roughly around a minute, We'll start adding in the powder spices, beginning with turmeric powder. Well, like I said, it's a canvas and all this gets absorbed beautifully and you'll get a nice yellow colored sabzi. Just a touch of red chilli powder. It already has two more spices, which is the red chilli and the green chilli. Just a touch of garam masala powder. Sugar. Well, sugar is something that can be treated as optional, but I personally like the flavor of sugar in this recipe. Salt as required. And with this, I'm going to add in 
a little bit of water. When I say water, well, it really depends on the quality of the turnip. When the turnips are absolutely nice, fresh and young, of course, the quantity of water is going to be lesser. But the moment the turnip becomes fibrous and a few days older, you'll require a little more of water because that turnip is going to be devoid of water. Stir this well. Cover this and allow this to cook for 15 minutes on medium to low flame. It's been 15 minutes. Let's open this and have a quick check. The idea here is the turnip needs to be absolutely nice and soft. While not mushy as such, the shape needs to be retained. Well, the vegetable is perfectly cooked. As you see, the shape is retained. Yes, it's nice, soft, but not mushy. Well, here's a quick tip to get the taste of the vegetable. Nice, universal and absolutely fantastic. What I'm doing is mashing just a little few, like so. Just another touch of water, in this case, just to clean the potato masher. After mashing, of course, you need to increase the flame. Get all of this together so that the mashed turnips and the whole turnips kind of become nice and homogeneous. And while that's happening, let's increase the layer of flavor. And to this, I'm adding in fresh fenugreek leaves, well, also known as methi. What we need to do is, of course, pick the absolute tender leaves of methi in season because it's winter. Take them, wash them, kind of pat them dry and chop them absolutely nice and fine. The last and final thing here is to toss all of this beautifully well. You can also at this stage add in some water. If you want to eat this with rice, add in a cup full of water, let it simmer, check for salt and that's done. Otherwise, you can eat it just like that with a chapati. With this, off goes the flame and the shalgam ki sabzi gets served of course with chapati and my most favorite, onions and lemons. In my personal humble opinion, make the best use of whatever's available across seasons. In most metros, we somewhere, unfortunately, are losing the charm. But it's upon you and I to keep that alive. On that note, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Rajshree Food. And for more such stunning 100% vegetarian recipes, stay tuned.